Well, that's not right. Hey folks, this is the Dark Preacher. And this is the Rising World. Um, there was an update. And I think Snowshock forgot to put something back in. Because now all my thermodynamics pipes are gone. Yeah, so that's a thing. <clears throat> uh, the only way I know to fix this is to downgrade the pack one level and then uh, load up a backup of the world. But I think... No, I think I'm going to work with this. I think, I think I'm going to work with the challenge. So between... Last episode in this episode, I I got a lot of work done. <clears throat> I had a tree farm all set up down here. It was growing oak trees, it was growing rubber trees, and I was getting saplings and rubber and wood and apples. And then I decided to update the pack. Yeah, that worked out well. I figured, oh, well, you know, it's, it's, it'll work pretty good. But, uh, yeah. So, what I'm going to do, seeing as how Ender I.O. is in this, and I know it works, I'm just going to go hunting some Endermen. Yoo-hoo, Endermen. Come here, each pearls. Also, I did a lot of mining off camera, and I uh, ended up uh, making me a hammer, leveling it up. Oh, hi, skellies. Got me a crossbow now. Yeah. Sucker. There we go. That's better. So what I need to do is go Enderman hunting. So I need to go Enderman hunting. I need to get a bunch of Ender pearls. And then, I'll be able to make the pipes necessary to set my tree farm back up again. So, I think I'm going to go hunting, and I will be alright. Alright, finally back. And it took me, oh, three hours to get one ender pearl. Which is the reason why I'm going to end up making a mob farm. I've been going around lighting up caves all over the place. And it's taken me quite a while to find them. But I have the beginnings of a little mob farm down here. And hopefully I can get everything all set up and ready to go soon. The only thing I need to add down here is some half slabs in case there's like a baby zombie that shows up or something. But, as you can see on my mini map, I have lit up quite a bit. So, this is all the area I've been through lighting things up. And each of these little squares here is one chunk. So, I've gone around to quite a few chunks and lit things up. Now all I gotta do is wait for things to spawn in. And 
most of this is under the ocean. So I've gone through here and lit things up. I've gone through here and lit things up. <clears throat> all through this ravine. All through this cave system. Almost everything around this. I know I haven't quite lit up everything, but I'm hoping that I'm able to get at least something in here to spawn in. Let me show you how it works. What we do is we come up here, we grab our trusty obsidian pickaxe, pop a hole in the wall. And the reason why I'm able to walk around on these conveyor belts and not get pushed around is because of these plastic boots. Wonderful things. But I've got a few spawning spaces up here. If they move one side or another, they're going to get shoved off. But in order for them to spawn in, I have to be a certain distance away. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back upstairs see if I can't set up my tree farm again. So that way it'll actually work. What I need... Uh, I currently don't have on me. Shoot. Oh, wait. No, I've got, I've got almost everything I need on me. I just need... Take this. Dump it in there. Then we'll run up here real quick. We'll grab some redstone here. Go we'll ahead, back down here. <coughs> Excuse me. And grab that. And we'll toss it in here. Watch it cook up. Well, that's going. I'll run some of the piping back. Now this is going to be a much more compact system this time. Because I only need space for one. Cable to go through because of Ender I.O. there, put it on insert mode, I'm going to have to make some filters possibly, oh, no, never mind, there's only space for two different things to go in there, I've got them both set to not consume the stack, all i got to do is come over here, Set you to insert. Set you to insert. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> you take me a little drink here in a second. Basically, that's information telling me where all the conduits are attached at. But I need to go hunting for another Enderman to finish this up. So, take that and put on alloys. Give it some redstone. 
back one of those. Just so there's not an ironing it just sitting in there. <coughs> and hopefully I have better luck this time than I did last time. Because I spent almost three hours hunting for Endermen. I only found one. So, wish me luck with that, folks. I'm going to need it. Because for some very odd reason, Endermen are few and far between in this mod pack. No clue why. I think what I'm going to do is go mining for some lapis. And add that to my sword. So if I do find another Enderman, I'll be able to actually kill him and get more Ender Pearl drops. The other thing I'm going to do is go around and <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me light up all this area. So, hopefully, by the time the episode is finished, I've got everything fixed from the update, somehow managing to screw up thermal dynamics, so that it was gone. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's it's completely gone. Dynamics. Yeah, nothing. Nothing for thermal dynamics. So, snow shock. If you took thermal dynamics out because it was buggy or something, you need to let people know about that in the change log. Because otherwise, there's nothing in there. I looked over the change log, it didn't say anything about thermal dynamics being taken out. So I updated, thinking that my systems were still going to work the same as they did before. Turns out I was wrong. But hey, what can you do? Sometimes people forget to put information in. Sometimes they forget to add things back. I mean, this, this thing is still under development. That's the reason why it's a private pack. So for those of you out there who have thermal dynamics pipes and power cables in any of your builds in this mod pack, don't update yet. If it's going to completely break your world, don't update yet. But anyways, I need to go do some Enderman hunting because the sun's going down. And it's going to get dark. So I will see you in a little bit. Well, guys, it took me actually hunting down some interminis. And quite a journey, too. I mean, just, just look. This is everywhere I went looking for endermen and interminis. I went on quite the long journey. Whew. That was a long walk. But, I got the ender pearls needed to fix my farm, as you can tell. And it's actually a little bit cleaner now. I think I might move a few things around, make it look a little more presentable. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to build is another alloy smelter and get get a few things ready to uh, find a new base because you know this is just a temporary base I mean this is not home this will end, end up being home eventually but I'm the Dark Preacher, and this is the Rising World, and I will see you guys next time.